We have come here today to tell you a warning. A warning that is not a new one. For centuries, humans have worked to improve the world's technology in order to make the lives of men easier, even if it means sacrificing our planet's life. In the name of progress, we have polluted the Earth's water, air, and land. We have destroyed our one and only home. And now we are living with the consequences of our actions. It is our choice whether to confront it or not. So I stand here along with EVP80 with a single goal in mind. To bring the entire world together in order to save our planet. Today, we are facing an environmental crisis that is not only harmful to our environment but also to our health. And this is acid rain. The objective is to raise awareness to people about acid rain and how it can affect one's place or person. But first, ano nga bang acid rain? Acid rain is a broad term that includes any form of precipitation with acidic components such as sulfuric or nitric acid acid that fall to the ground from the atmosphere in wet or dry forms. The wet deposition na mas kilala natin sa acid rain, kung saan nagoform ang sulfuric and nitric acid sa atmosphere at kapag tumama ito sa lupa ay ulan, snow, or fog na. Another is a dry deposition. Ito yung mga acidic particles and gases that can also deposit from the atmosphere in the absence of moisture. And if it already picked your curiosity, then let's tahal kung paano nga ba ito nangyayari, the causes and effects, at kung gaano kadalas at kung saan ito madalas na tumatama. Sa lahat ng ating ginagawa, there's a cause and effect relationship. Like in acid rain, the main cause of it is when sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides are emitted into the atmosphere and transported by the wind and air currents. The sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides react with water and oxygen and other chemicals to form sulfuric and nitric acids. These then mix with water and other materials before falling to the ground. One of the major sources of these two elements are burning of fossil fuels to generate electricity, vehicles and heavy equipment, manufacturing, or refineries and other industries. Ito yung mga bagay na essential sa buhay natin pero mostly ito rin yung may mga malalaki o kasang mga epekto sa environment. And take note that winds can blow sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides over long distances and across borders. Kaya ang acid rain ay naging malaking problema sa lahat at hindi lamang sa mga nakapira malapit sa sources na nabanggit ka niya. And now, let's proceed with the explanation of the chemical reactions happening in acid rain. When rain falls, it mixes with carbon dioxide in the air. As it mixes, a weak acid called carbonic acid is formed. This is a synthesis reaction. Synthesis reaction is when two elements or compounds mix together to form a single compound. When acids are in water, it releases hydrogen ions. The same concept applies with acid rain, except that sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides replace carbon dioxide. In sulfur dioxide, two synthesis reactions occur. As the sulfur dioxide travels through the air, it reacts with the oxygen to form sulfur trioxide. Then it fixes with water to make sulfuric acid. Many reactions happen with nitrogen oxides, but let's focus with the simplest. There is one synthesis reaction and one redox reaction. Nitric oxide mixes with oxygen in the air to form nitrogen dioxide. This is the synthesis reaction. Then nitrogen dioxide mixes with water to form the nitric acid and nitric oxide. This is the redox reaction. Redox reaction happens when there is a loss in gain of electrons in the elements involved in the reaction. Ngayon, kaano nga ba kadalas nangyayari ang acid rain? Hindi dahil hindi mo pa ito nararanasan, ang ibig sabihin nito ay hindi na ito totoo o tunay na nangyayari. Noong 1980s, the threat of acid rain in Canada and the US had become a brewing environmental crisis. Sa ilang bahagi ng Southern Ontario, lakes that once were teeming with wildlife were on the verge of becoming dead lakes, void of fish, and other aquatic species. Also, remember when we said that one of the major sources of acid rain is manufacturing or factories? Totoo yun! because it really happened in China. The Associated Press reports that China's factories are sending ever-increasing amounts of sulfur dioxide, the chemical that causes acid rain. According to Sheng Warren, Deputy Chairman of the Standing Committee of Parliament, emissions of sulfur dioxide have risen by 27% since the year 2000. Hindi lang tayo ang naapektuhan kapag gumadagsa ang acid rain, pati na rin ang mga hayop, kabilang mga isda. Acid rain has led to a significant reduction of biological diversity in rivers and lakes in Norway. Nasa 15,000 stocks of fish in inland and other freshwater systems ang nawala o namatay. We can see here that in the past years, most of the countries na nasa Asia and Europe ang pinaka-apektado. These are the possible reasons. Large number of factories and power plants in the northeastern section of the USA factories. Large number of cars affected the southeastern section of Canada. British and European factories heavily affect Central Europe and Scandinavia. Massive amounts of factories in Asia mostly affect China and India. Dense population in many cities contribute to pollutants. 
In the United States, reductions in acid deposition stem from the Clean Air Act of 1970 and its amendments in 1990. The first phase of emission reductions ordered by the U.S. Clean Air Act amendments of 1990 were begun in 1995, mainly by the recognition of coal-fired power plant emissions. But despite significant reductions in acid deposition, some European and North American ecosystems impaired by acid deposition have been slow to recover. Decades of acid deposition in these sensitive regions have depleted the acid neutralizing capacity of soils, while in other parts of the world, acid deposition is still increasing. Ngayon naman, paano natin malalaman kung may acid rain na palang nagaganap sa labas ng ating bahay o sa labas ng ating kinatatayuan ngayon? Rain is always slightly acidic because it reacts with naturally occurring oxides in the air. Ang pagkakaiba lang ng normal rain sa acid rain ay mas naglalaman ng maraming dissolved sulfur, dioxide, at nitrogen oxide gases ang acid rain kaysa sa normal rain. But how will we determine if the rain is high in acid? We can determine if the rain is high in acid by measuring the pH value of the rain. Ang karaniwang acid rain ay may pH value na 4.0 samantalang ang normal rain ay may pH value na nasa pagitan na 5.0 at 5.5. One way to test if the water is acidic or not is by using a litmus paper as the paper changes color depending on whether the substance is acidic or basic. Kapag ang papel ay naging pula, the substance is acidic. Kapag blue naman, the substance is basic. Pero mag-ingat ka kapag maliligo ka sa ulan. Dahil kahit wala kang mararamdamang kakaiba, kapag naliligo ka sa acid rain, delikado pa rin ito because pollutants in the air such as sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide can cause respiratory diseases. Although it is easy for us humans to stay inside our homes and avoid going outside due to pollution caused by acid rain, it is not so easy for our ecosystem to avoid it. What effects does it give on the environment? When acid rain falls to the ground or into bodies of water, it alters their chemical properties and endangers the ecosystem's balance. Ito ay tinutukoy bilang environmental acidification na mayroong malaking epekto sa paligiran. Ang mga patay o namamatay na puno ay karaniwang nakikita sa mga lugar na apektado ng acid rain. Aluminum, which is toxic, mixes with acid rain. Normal rain doesn't mix with aluminum, but acid rain does. The trees absorb this and it dies because it is poison. Ang ilang uri ng halaman at hayop ay kayang tiisi ng acidic na tubig at moderate amounts of aluminum. Others, however, are acid sensitive and will be lost as the pH declines. Generally, the home of most species are more sensitive to environmental conditions than adults. At pH 5, most fish eggs can hatch. At lower pH levels, some adult fish die. Pero kahit na ang isang species ng isda o hayop ay kayang tiisi ng katamtamang acidic na tubig, ang mga hayop o halaman na kinakain ito ay maaari. Malaki ang epekto nito sa animal food chain at sa mga living organisms. Ngunit hindi lang ecosystems ang naapektuhan, pati na rin ang mga infrastruktura. Acid rain also affects artistic, historical, and cultural heritage. When acid rain and dry acidic particles fall to earth, the nitric and sulfuric acid that make the particles acidic can land on statues, buildings, and other man-made structures and damage their surfaces. The acidic particles corrode metal and cause paint and slow to deteriorate more quickly. They also dirty the surfaces of buildings and other structures such as monuments. Can you see how acid rain affects our lives now? And how it will continue to affect our lives if we don't take action now? Here are ways to mitigate and prevent acid rain. The first is to find alternative sources of energy and reduce emissions. A great way to reduce acid rain is to produce energy without using fossil fuels. Ang mga tao ay maaaring gumamit ng renewable energy sources gaya ng solar at wind power. Renewable energy sources help reduce acid rain because they produce much less pollution. These energy sources can be used to power machinery and produce electricity. It might be quite expensive, pero mas madami itong benefits kaysa sa paggamit ng fossil fuels. Pero kung hindi to kaya ng budget mo, the biggest step that you can take to prevent acid rain is to decrease your energy consumption. Turn off the lights when you leave the room and when they are not in use. Kapag hindi ka gumagamit ng electronic devices or home appliances, patayin na lamang para mag-conserve ng energy. At for transportation, it is best to take public transportation, ride a bike, or walk. Iwasan ang paggamit ng kotse kung hindi naman kinakailangan. So here are the things that you can do when acid rain hits. Una ay stay inside. It is harmful to inhale the pollutants that cause acid rain because it can cause respiratory diseases such as asthma or chronic bronchitis, making it difficult for people to breathe. So if you have nothing important to do outside, it is best to just stay indoors. Pangalawa, wear a mask and something for you to cover. Kung kinakailangan lumabas, magdala ng mga bayong para hindi tayo mabasa ng ulan. Kapag suot din ng mask, hindi lang para sa COVID, kundi para hindi natin malanghap ang mga chemical sa hangin. At pangatlo, stay updated. Manood ng balita o makinig sa radyo pa sa mga updates patungkol sa acid rain para maiwasan natin malanghap Let's stop ignoring the needs of the earth. But to stop taking this world for granted. It's never too late to make our world a better place for each and every one of us. Get up. Do something to make a change. Even the small changes matter. It's not how big or small our contribution is. It's always the practice.
progress that we have made. Your friends, your family, your pets, yourself, your health and environment around you, all of these will suffer if you don't take proper actions. Be educated to educate others. Create a plan and set a goal. And finally, make a mock. You are benefiting from this place. It's the people in all living things. This has been EPPAP or the Environmental Protection and Promotion Agency of the Philippines and giving you awareness is in our top list.